The Vietnam War defined a generation. It changed the lives of people who fought in it, those who fought against it, and the families of both. My name is Bill Wilbur. I live uh, just east of Newtown, North Dakota. I was in the, in the U.S. Navy in submarines uh, years uh, 67 through 71. Went on several patrols uh, into the North Atlantic. Basically, they were watching the Russians coming out of their northern ports. Before that, when I was in electronics tech school on Treasure Island in San Francisco Bay, um, just south of Alcatraz. Uh, the base there was used for several things, like many Navy bases, but it was a demarcation place or point. Uh, we call it, or they call it, the Navy call it transient. So there were transient barracks there. So uh, it was uh, one of the major places for Marines to disembark from the Marines. So some of them um, had been in Vietnam the day before, or a couple days before. Um, we ate in the same cafeteria that they ate in. So. Uh, most or quite a few of my Vietnam stories are hearing uh, these Marines talk. I didn't know this guy that told the story, but he was one of the Marines in the table next to me. And uh, he's walking through this Viet Cong village, known to be Viet Cong village. His good buddy is 15, 20 feet in front of him. And uh, from this hut to his left uh, comes this eight, 10 year old boy running out. Okay. And he has an AK-47, and he spots this guy's buddy first, okay, and he swings around, okay. I ask the question, you have one second to decide what to do. What is it? What are you going to do? He didn't finish the story, but he said his buddy came back alive. Some of these same Marines talk about their trip into San Francisco and hold up their arm and say, yeah, that's spit right there. And I say, why is this happening? I figured out a couple of years later when I came back from one of those northern trips in the submarine, I hadn't seen people, American soldiers, brought back in body bags in a while. And I hadn't heard Cronkite and Rather talk about all the negative things they could think of. I sat down in front of the news, my eyes were opened. Whose side are these news people on? <laughs>